The auto shop contracts are on double money this week in GTA Online. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best way you can use this to make money. Before we get started, if you are looking to buy a cheap modded GTA 5 account, visit ModX GTA 5 via the link in my description. Here, you can find modded GTA accounts for every platform, which come with tons of money, rank and everything else. Visit the link in the description to pick one up for yourself. To start doing this method, you of course need to own an auto shop. These are 30% off this week and that includes all of the modifications, so make sure to buy one before you get started. Now that we have that out of the way, we can get started with the actual heist. The first setup that you have to do is the elevator key. For this setup, you have to go over and enter Del Perro Heights apartments and you'll be met with a ton of enemies inside. A tip for this is to use a shotgun, more specifically the assault shotgun. This is because all of the enemies will be up close, so a shotgun will be your best option. Once you have killed everyone in this room, you will have to kill the final person, who will be holding the elevator key. Once you have killed him, you will have to interact with him and take the elevator key from his body. The next step is to go into the garage. You will be met with a ton of NPCs for you to fight, so make sure to use snacks and again, your assault shotgun. The vehicle you need to steal is always this black SUV. Once you take the SUV outside, you will have to stash it somewhere. The best place for you to stash this SUV is at this location, as it is the closest to the bank. This will make the end heist much easier. Once you have delivered it, all you have to do is leave the area and you will have finished the setup. The second setup is the bolt cord. This one is probably the harder of the two, but if you follow my instructions, you will have no problems. The first step is to go over to LSIA and steal the police helicopter. Once you are inside the helicopter, fly up and go quite high. Then fly towards the middle of the city where all of the big buildings are. You don't have to worry about losing the cops as it will happen naturally as you are flying towards the middle of the city. Once you get to the next step of the mission, you have to locate the bank manager's car. The car is always this blue Porsche, so scan this one so you can continue. You must then follow him to the location that he is driving to in this helicopter. You can use the focus camera to make this a little bit easier for yourself. Once he gets out of his car and goes into the hotel, you have to find him with his girlfriend. Once you have found him, press the left stick to make the helicopter hover and then enter the camera in the helicopter. Zoom in as much as you can until you have the option to take the photo. You have to wait before you can take the photo as the bank manager has to incriminate himself first. This means that he basically has to be caught touching this woman. So when he is doing this, he must get the picture. If you do it right, Sasanta will contact you and say that it is all done. Fly away from the location to finish the setup. Now that we have finished both of these setups, we can move on to the final heist. Make sure that you take a ton of snacks and also body arm with you as well as there will be a ton of NPCs for you to fight towards the end. The first step involves you driving to the area near the bank and getting the SUV from where you stored it. Then take the vehicle to the bank and walk toward the vault. If you don't keep your weapons hidden, you will be caught instantly, so make sure to keep them hidden away. Once you get past all of the security and the elevator, you will be able to get inside the vault. Once you are inside of the vault, start to loot and take all of the gold. Once you have finished filling up your loot bag, leave the vault and go back into the elevator. You will now be able to take your weapons out and shoot people with them. Clear out all of the people inside of the entrance of the bank and then you can progress forward with the heist. Based on where you left your vehicle, you will have to take a different route, but get back to your getaway car. From here, you have a couple of different options. These options all include losing the police. You can choose to go into the tunnels or hide somewhere else, but I personally think that your best bet is to just drive and lose the cops naturally. Once you have lost the cops, you are home and free. Drive to the final location and you will get this cutscene, where you hand over them the gold and receive this payment. After completing all of this, you will receive $540,000. You can repeat this method as many times as you want this week, so make sure that you are using it. If you want to do this heist with your friends, you can do this too. 
you can take three friends along with you and if you do this you won't lose any cut. You will actually benefit from this as from each person in your heist crew you will gain an extra $10,000. Each of your friends will also get $100,000 each so if you want to do this and take it along with your friends then you have the option to do so. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If this video did help you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I appreciate you all for watching and I wish you good luck completing the Union Depository Heist this week. Thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next one.